What's going on out there gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope video. I'm going to show you guys how to get a bunch of glitched outfits. It's actually more than four like it says in the title, but they're glitch slash modded outfits. We're going to be modding a couple of them and uh, it's going to be really, really cool. Okay, so just an overview of what we're going to be doing. Uh, these are all glitch slash modded outfits that you can only get now after the Doomsday DLC after patch 1.42. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys how to glitch the uh, scuba flippers right off and you can save them onto an outfit. All right. You're not supposed to be able to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you guys how to glitch out the blue paramedics. You can do the blue or green, but the blue paramedics outfit like you see right here in the intro and tan joggers if you want tan joggers and gray joggers as well. And we're going to make a full outfit with the gray joggers. All right. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how to get invisible arms on the paramedics outfit. All right. So as for the scuba flippers, we're going to get into that right now. So you want to go to outfits in the clothing store and go down to scuba and you want to pick any one of these. Just go ahead and buy any of them. If you want to buy multiple, go ahead. But these are actually pretty cool and we're going to glitch on the flippers. So I have the facility right next to the water right here. I have the outfit, you know. Uh, equipped at the moment go ahead and go into the water and you're gonna see the flippers and the tank all come on once you're in the water all right so just go into the water right here like you see me do go to style open up your interaction menu go to style go down to illuminated clothing and just hold right d-pad on illuminated clothing I'd say for about 10 to 20 seconds I do it for about 15 to 20 I think in this video but I'm just used to that because of the joggers by the way that method to uh, get joggers now in adversary modes is patched until we find a new way to do it so joggers are patched, but for this, it works perfectly fine. So illuminated clothing, just hold right D-pad for 10 to 20 seconds. Once you do that, press start, go to online and just hit find new session. Once you've hit find new session, it doesn't really matter where your spawn location is. You should be able to save it anywhere. Mine is right here at my facility. So I'm going to come back and I'm wearing the outfit. He takes off the tank and the mask, but the scuba flippers are still there. And notice I said glitched. Most of these are glitched. You actually have a glitch top as well, as you can see right there. There's a black glitched. It might depend on what outfit you were wearing before, what your crew color is, but it is a glitch top and you can go ahead and save it right in your wardrobe. And there you go. You have an awesome, really cool saved glitched out flippers, glitch shirt outfit, all right? Really, really cool. You can change the gloves and the mask on it, all right? So next up, we are going to be getting the paramedics outfits. You want to go to this setup, Dead Courier. You can do this really quick. You only need one friend. And uh, yeah, this is really quick. You can just do the setup mission in free mode or the prep mission in free mode and then the setup right after. So this one is very, very quick. It's an act one. Now, once you're there, the host will be in the paramedic side and the second player will be on the other side. OK, but here in the paramedics this is why I was telling you it's multiple outfits you can get the blue or the green paramedics if you're on the other side you can actually get tan joggers now blue or green paramedics i recommend the short sleeves and i'm going to show you right here that i got the short sleeve blue right there and also if you're on the other side like i was right here you can use that outfit right there to actually get the tan joggers okay that's how you get the tan joggers using this outfit so if you need a friend go down in the comment section because you guys can switch off right there and then look one of you guys can get paramedics the other one can get tan joggers then flip it around the other one gets tan joggers the other one gets the paramedics and you can get blue or green paramedics so this is really cool so once you've done that and you're spawning outside this is what you want to do. You're going to spawn with either your blue paramedics or your tan joggers, whichever side you're on. You want to go ahead and go with your friend or without them. Both of us, me and BMX, shout out to him. We had uh, Eclipse Towers. Excuse his bad driving, but uh, yeah, we both had Eclipse Towers. So we're going to go ahead and go to an apartment. Um, you don't want to go to a CEO office, nothing like that. Go to an apartment and you'll see you can walk right in. There's no weird glitchiness uh, stuff right here. We've always been able to do this in setup missions, okay? So go ahead and just enter alone into your own apartment, all right? Once you've gotten into your apartment, we're just going to wait to load in here. For some reason, it takes a bit. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go in here right now. And I haven't been in here in a while. But yeah, I'm going to go straight upstairs and I'm going to go over to my wardrobe slash closet. 
and right here in this closet, I'm gonna go ahead and change one thing. You can either change the gloves, the mask, or the hat. All right, you just gotta change one thing on the outfit. Now, I'm gonna change the gloves because I wanna keep that hat, so I don't wanna mess with the head at all. So, I'm just gonna pick any set of gloves right here that I have. Doesn't matter which one you pick. I recommend always changing the gloves on these outfits so you can keep the uh, the base part of the outfits, all right? You don't wanna really get rid of any of the other stuff. It's really cool to have this. Kind of like the old cop outfit that they blacklisted. I definitely recommend doing these quick. So once you've changed the gloves, mask, or hat, go ahead and walk away, chill out for a few seconds, and your friend can also get the tan joggers. BMX in this scenario, he's over there in his closet and he's getting the tan joggers. He did the same thing. So now once he tells me he's ready, I'm gonna open up my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and just quit out the mission. Doesn't matter who quits out, you will both get whatever outfits you glitched as long as you changed one accessory on it. Remember, either gloves, mask, or hat. I recommend always changing the gloves so you keep the base parts of the outfit and check it out. I spawned back down after backing out of the job and I have, you know, the full paramedics outfit right here. Now, like I said, you could have gotten the blue ones or the green ones. They're both really cool. We ended up getting all of them. It took us a little while to really fin finish it up, but it's super, super easy. And uh, go ahead and go into your closet, you know, hit right D-pad. And now you want to go ahead and save it, okay? You didn't want to save it in the job. You want to save it after. All you're doing is changing one accessory uh, while you're in the job, okay? And then backing out of it. That is it. So I'm back over here. I like to save it a couple times just in case. And there you go. We have the paramedics outfit. Really cool. Now I'm going to show you how to get no arms on the paramedics outfit, okay? So here's how you get no arms on this outfit right here. Now, all you got to do is if you don't own an overcoat blazer, you got to go to the clothing store and do this. But I own one, so I'm going to just do it right here in my closet. Go to overcoat blazers and tops and right there, right when you're on no top hovering over it, it already takes off the arms. Go ahead and select no top to keep it just like that. And there you go. You have no arms. Now, what you can do to spice this up, you can't put on gloves because gloves will bring back the arms, but you can put cuffs on. So I went ahead and I put the black gauntlet uh, cuffs on the left and the right hand, uh, you know, wrist, I guess you could say. So left and right black gauntlet cuffs. You can pick whatever color you want or whatever cuffs you want. And then I went ahead and I saved the outfit just like this. But that's how you can add a little bit of spunk to this outfit. So go ahead and just simply press X or that's I believe that's square on PlayStation. And then you want to go ahead and just save it just like that. So paramedics outfits with no arms as well. You want to get the short sleeve ones to be able to do this. But check it out. No arms right there. Freaking dope. All right. Awesome. 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 Okay. So now once we've done that. This is the one to do, all right? You got to do this one quick. So setup rescue ULP. This is the first setup in act two, okay? So once you start act two in the new uh, heist, what you want to do is go do the prep mission for rescue ULP, and then you can do the setup, okay? Once again, you only need one friend for this, and you can both get the gray joggers. Yep, just like I said, guys, we can finally get the gray joggers in a job. This is the exact outfit you want to put on. You want to go ahead and go to high tech impact and then go down to the machine. All right. So high tech impact the machine and that's the outfit you want. Those are the great freaking joggers. I can't believe we can finally get them in a job. This is awesome. All right. So once you started it up, you see we both spawn out with the gray joggers. Everybody in this job can get it. So if you want to do this with four people, you definitely can. And we're going to be doing the same thing that we did last time. So BMX and I, we both spent a little while just getting all these outfits, you know, ready to make this tutorial for you guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and hop into his vigilante. And I'm not going to show you guys the entire thing over again. Uh, I just thought it was funny right here how I kept teleporting. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to the apartments once again and just run in there and hit enter alone so that you can access your own wardrobe. And once you're in there, we're going to do the same thing. Remember, we're going to be able to either change the hat, the mask or the gloves. All right. It doesn't matter which one you pick. The mask is pretty cool here. So I recommend if you want to keep that cool mask right there and you don't want to screw anything up, just change the gloves. Remember, gloves are cheap. You can always change up gloves. So right here, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and go to the accessories. I probably got a little confused there because I'm my glasses. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go over to accessories and then gloves. All right. And just 
Select whichever pair of gloves you want. You can put any of them. It won't disrupt anything on the outfit. You want to keep those cool shoulder pads. You can do some really glitchy stuff with the shoulder pads. Let me tell you, it glitches through a lot of different things. So I went ahead and I did that. Now I'm just waiting for him. He's telling me that he's, uh, he's doing the same thing. He's changing up the gloves on his. Once he's ready to go, I'm just going to go ahead and back out. And once again, remember, it doesn't matter who backs out as long as every player is ready to go and has changed an accessory and just walked away from the closet for a few seconds. All right, that's just to make sure that it does kind of stick. But there's no saving in the jobs, all right? So once you've gone ahead and quit out, it doesn't matter who quit out once again, just as long as everybody changes an accessory on there, you're going to spawn back down, and there we go. We have the full outfit with the gray joggers. Run back into your apartment, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to save the outfit fully, all right? And we're going to make a dope, dope outfit with this gray joggers, let me tell you. All right, so go ahead and save the outfit just like that. Say, you know, Call it whatever you want. Uh, and then at this moment, we're going to go ahead and we're going to begin to make this really cool outfit. So check it out. We're going to be at the clothing store. This is the exact one I want to show you that we're going to be using a lot, okay? It's right here in this part of the map, and it's right next to the strip club. You're going to see I'm going to show you right there. You see, that's the strip club. This is the clothing store. So this is the main one we're going to be using, guys, all right? Now, there's a reason for it, and I'll show you in a little bit, but... For now, go ahead and go to the top section, and we're going to go ahead and go to Tactical Jackets, all right? Once we're at Tactical Jackets, go down until you get to the black and gray Tactical Mid-Length, okay? I believe it's number 21. There we go. Black and gray Tactical Mid-Length. It looks really, really cool with this. Matches very well. Now, go ahead and go to the shoe section. We're going to be picking up uh, one of the sneakers. It's the Black Plain High Tops right there, all right? Look perfect. Black and gray is such a dope combination. All right, so now... Go to the glove section over here at the accessories. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be picking up some simple leather gloves. This is up to you. You can pick up whichever kind of gloves you want. I think it looked much better. You can pick up the gray ones. The gray ones look pretty dope and put some gray shoes. That's all up to you. But I wanted to go black and gray with this one. So the black leather gloves was my decision. Now just simply go ahead up to the counter and just save this outfit. All right. Go ahead and save it. Save it to a new slot, whatever you want. I wanted to try and slave, save it to a new slot to keep the old one. You can do some cool stuff with that. So now go to the mask shop by the beach, all right? Right by, right on Vespucci Beach. Go to the mask shop. Once you're there, you're going to be going to the mask section, and uh, we're going to be going down to Tactical Mask, and it's called the Mono Splinter Spec Ops. Okay, Mono Splinter Spec Ops, number 31 on the list right here. There we go. So go ahead and equip that, and at this point, you want to save the outfit right now because we're going to be doing the telescope glitch, all right? So save the outfit right here, and... Uh, yeah, once the outfit is saved, go ahead and go to the hat section now, and we're going to be picking up a really cool helmet, all right? Go over to the combat helmets, and then we're going to be going to the black dual lens helmet, and this is the hat we're, or helmet we're going to be glitching on, all right? The black dual lens helmet right there, that one. So once you equip it, you know, you buy it and equip it, it's going to go ahead and like come on. So just select the outfit again, and then there you go. We have just the mask on. This is the saved outfit you want to do this glitch with, all right? So now... Go ahead and drive where you see I'm going, and we're going to do the telescope glitch right now. Run by the telescope, smash around on the D-pad, and pull away from the stick, and then you should be glitched on without any headgear. Go down to style, and go to accessories, and go to over to the helmets. Now select the black dual lens helmet, back out of the interaction menu, and you're going to see everything glitches on together. There we go. That's the telescope glitch, guys. Still working after patch 1.42. Thank goodness. What a great clothing glitch. I love that they still kept that. Now... Go ahead and you can save it right now if you want or go straight to the, uh, you know, to the clothing store, which is where we're going to be going now anyway. So you could have saved it here or over there. Now we're at the clothing store by the strip club. This is really important. You need to come to this one, okay? The one that I showed you on the map earlier. Now, go down to the flight suits and pick the black flight suit. All right, we're going to add some little touches to this to make it fully complete. All right, once you pick the black flight suit, you can either run over to the strip club or if you have a bike, use a bike. Now walk in there, you're going to see the, the flight suit hose kind of just comes off. So go to style, select the outfit that we're working on right now, and just simply walk out of the strip club and you're going to see the flight suit hose glitches on. All right, so now the hose is glitched on there. Either run back or ride a bike back. And now you can go ahead and save it and save it a couple of times. I pretty much am in the habit of saving everything two or three times, no matter what I'm doing, just to make sure that it does stick. And uh, yeah, once you've done that, this is pretty good, pretty complete. You can keep it like this, but I wanted to add the final touch, what makes most of my outfits just dope. Now we're going to do the 
duffel bag transfer. So I'm going to pick an old outfit that has a duffel bag on it. Guys, I need to go over this in another video, but the duffel bag is not fully patched. There's still a lot of ways to get it and a lot of ways to transfer it. So the transfer still works. Just go up in the air and either a buzzard or an oppressor, pull out your parachute, fly down, go ahead and hover over the outfit that we're trying to glitch or we're trying to transfer the duffel bag onto. Now, once we land down there, Go ahead, land, and right when he's about to take off the parachute, about right here, select it. There you go. So I selected the outfit that we were working on, and the duffel bag transferred right over. Dope finishing touch right there. All right, we got the gray duffel bag. Now you have to save it in the wardrobe. This is another reason why we need this one, because there's a closet slash wardrobe in the back. You cannot save the duffel bag now in normal, you know, areas in the clothing store. It has to be the closet, okay? So now we've saved the duffel bag in the closet, and there we go. We have the full outfit. I, I told you guys this was a dope, dope gray joggers outfit we're going to be doing at the end to finish this tutorial off. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I know I don't make many, uh, you know, outfit tutorials, but I wanted to make you guys a full-on like crazy outfit tutorial you know video showing you guys a bunch of different things you can do with these new outfits i'm really psyched about them i hope you enjoyed the video because i certainly did i enjoyed making it for you guys and yeah my name is roll easy make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new hit that big red button uh you know turn post notifications on drop a fat like on this video as well for the freshest and the most informative dope gt5 online content peace out everybody